Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial video. This time I'm going to explain how you can get information from the Trucksbook website straight into your Discord server. Trucksbook is a virtual truck company application which can be used to gather all the information from your virtual trucking company or VTC. It goes from the members of the company to the trips that they are making. I'll put the link into the description of this video. It is possible to get a lot of information from that website straight into your Discord server. For our VTC, we created two channels for that. One channel for the general information, such as people entering or leaving the company, or the changes in rank, and one channel for all the information of each trip the VTC members make. That goes for ETS2 trips as well as ATS and the information is nicely shown in the chosen channels. But how is this all done? Well, I'm going to show you. First of all, go to your Trucksbook company page in your web browser. In the left column, you click on profile. In the upper right corner, you'll see a settings button, which you now want to click. When you scroll down, you'll find Discord webhooks. Go into those settings by clicking it. You'll now see three sections, a general section and an ETS2 and ATS section. We will start with the general section. The general section will provide your Discord server and its chosen channel of information about people leaving or entering the VTC or changes in the ranks and many other things. If you want to know exactly what other things, what other messages, uh, then click on the question mark and you'll see. As you can see, you need to enter a webhook URL. That one still needs to be created on your Discord. So go to your Discord and right click on the channel in which you want these general messages to appear. Click on integrations followed by webhooks. Now click the button to create a new webhook. I already have webhooks in place, so I'm just going to show mine. As you can see, you can give the Trucksbook bot for general messages a name and avatar. You also need to select the channel in which you want the messages to appear. When that is done, you click on the button that says copy webhook URL. Now go back to your Trucksbook page in your web browser and paste the copied webhook URL into the text field in the general section. You now need to do the same steps over again for the ETS2 specific messages and the ATS messages. Go back to your Discord server and right click the channel in which you want the ETS2 messages to appear. Choose integrations and then webhooks and then create a new webhook. Follow the exact same steps as the ones we just explained for the general section. In my case, the ETS2 bot got another name and avatar and another channel in which I want those messages to appear. Copy the webhook URL and go back to your web browser. Paste the URL in the text field in the ETS2 section. Do the exact same thing for the ATS section. When you're done with all three sections, you have to click the save button. Don't forget to click the save button. And that's it. Your Discord server and its appropriate channels will receive all possible messages from your Trucksbook VTC page. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It is much appreciated.